this is an organization that is claiming we got no fans, we got no stadium, we got no money to compete. And if all they get is $200 million from Nevada to build a $1.5 billion ballpark, that means the A's themselves need to come up with $1.3 bill for a ballpark. Does this sound likely to you? There is another $200 million that the A's are seeking from the state and the county combined. But there has been no legislation, no bill introduced to get there yet. And the clock is ticking under two weeks to introduce this bill. There would have to be an emergency session. And that's a pretty heavy lift for the state. And the thing in Nevada is they got things done for the Golden Knights. They spent a lot of money building a Legion Stadium for the Raiders. And I don't know if there's this overwhelming drumbeat to bring baseball to Vegas if it costs more hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayer money. So... Who knows what Nevada will ultimately do? I can't pretend to know or predict what lawmakers there will do, what the county will decide, what the state will decide. Maybe they'll come up with that cash. But what I circle here in the story is that part of the issue is that John Fisher and the A's have been flippant, have been flip-flopping, have been erratic and inconsistent in their project proposals, their strategies to get to the finish line of relocation and building a stadium. This is their second binding agreement in a little over a month with two different sites, and the second site flipped within the site. It is just not a sound ownership. It has no direction. And you have to remember where John Fisher got his money. He didn't earn this money. He wasn't a great businessman. John Fisher didn't do anything great or grand to land the A's. He didn't do anything in business. Mom and dad created the gap, gave him the, the company and the billions. And so he bought for 180 million bucks the A's. And now he's gotten nowhere in getting a new stadium built in California. And it looks like he's spinning his wheels in Nevada as well. And to me, you just follow the trail of what he hasn't been able to get done and the people he's employed to get it done that have been unable to get it done. And if you follow that trail, you see an ownership group that is it is not focused, it is not pointed, it is not grounded. And because of it, you've got people that don't know how much business they want to do and how many favors they want to do for this guy. I know there are people in Vegas that would love to see baseball. I know there's plenty of people in Oakland that would love to keep baseball. And there is one solution here. Get rid of the cancer. That's John Fisher. If baseball forces John Fisher to sell the team to, say, Joe Lacob, the owner of the Warriors, who has an open bid on the A's to keep them in the Bay Area, you have an excellent owner, who has proven to do all the right things or employ the right people to get things done like a new arena, build a winner. He's proven, again, the track record that he can do this. You force Fisher to to give it to Lakeup, to sell to Lakeup, and Fisher makes his billion dollars of profit. Now you have a reasonably successful, overwhelmingly successful, and grounded owner in the Bay Area to get that done. That checks that box. And then the ownership group that goes to Vegas with an expansion team is also one that's far more trustworthy than this one, is one that taxpayers, county lawmakers, state legislators 
would say, well, okay, you've got a plan, and we can trust doing business with you, and we see your strategy and your vision. The issue is both sides are looking at John Fisher and the front office and the ownership group of, of the A's going, you guys are a clown show. They're just, there is nothing grounded or steady or consistent. And so everybody is kind of getting, they're getting weak need or they're getting skeptical of what the investment of the A's is going to be in the project. The A's just want handouts. They want all the money that you can give them. They want all the favors. And you've got to trust that then they'll do right by you after the favors. And nobody is given an inch on that. And there's the issue that if you want to right the ship here, you've got to get rid of Fisher. You have to. That's the solution. And I don't blame Nevada at all for getting cold feet on how much are we going to give this guy? How much are we going to give this organization? Because, you know, it's just a guy, it's, it's a butterfly floating from here to there to here to there. And I would argue not in good faith. 